Hello, 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 Virgo. This is Nikki. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much if you're new to the channel. If you are a, an old ride or die, thank you so much. You know, I work like 12 hours a day, so I haven't been around much. And literally, I'm so tired. I don't normally read this time of night, but I had a personal reading I had to get done. So I got that done and I wanted to come in and get a, a love reading for you all. Okay, so how does this person feel about you? Um, this could be Somebody who is in your life, it could be a co-worker, it could be somebody who you kind of like, who you look at across the room and, and just go, oh, 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 beat up my heart, okay? See, how is this person feeling about you, Virgo? Take what you need, leave the rest. Please hit that like button. How does this person feel about you, Virgo? Not right now. How does this person feel about you, Virgo? They feel the same way about you. I'm not the person you make me out to be in your mind. You're just fantasizing about this person, ain't you, Virgo? I don't have feelings for you, but I don't want to hurt your feelings either. Ooh, they're just being polite. How does this person feel about you, Virgo? I find myself thinking about you a lot. This person is in denial. Mm hmm that, that You know, I feel like you're fantasizing about them. Maybe they're fantasizing about you. I don't think I have feelings for you. You know, I don't even know why I'm looking at Virgo like this, but I just don't think I have feelings. Yes, you do. They got feelings. You. They think about you like you're thinking about them. They fantasize about you just like you're fantasizing about them. They're hot and cold. They, they try to pretend that they don't have any feelings for you, but they do. They try to pretend that that they um, aren't attracted to you, but they are. They are. They are. Okay. I recognize the potential between us, but I also harbor some uncertainties. They're not sure. They're hot and cold. I am always excited to talk about my, I am always excited to talk about you to my friends. All right. So they're, they're, they're like, yeah, this, this, this girl at work or it's this guy at work, this dude at work. He just turns me on. He rings my motherfucking chimes. Like ring, ring. You can ring my bell. Yeah. Ring my bell. Ring, ring. Uh, ring, ring that ring, ring that dang line. Okay. If I, if you ask me, I will say yes. Thinking about you. Okay. I've been thinking about you. Okay. I want to put this song in the comments. It's called Thinking About You. It's by this group called, called Streetwise. Put it in the comments, okay? Um, so this person is hot and cold. They're, they like to pretend to you in your face that they don't like you, that they don't dig you, but they dig the hell out of you, okay? To be totally honest, you're not really my type. You're not really my type, but I'm digging you hot and cold, okay? They're, they're, they're digging you. They act like they don't, they're not interested. They act like they don't give a care, but they do. I'm not really into you, but I do like the attention that you give me. Attention, attention. I feel like you make this person interested in you. You're making this person interested because they're like, what is Virgo always looking at? What are they always staring at? That's kind of making me uncomfortable, but damn, it feels good. It's like you're giving this person attention that they haven't had in a long, long time. And that's kind of like changing their mind about that. At first, they weren't digging you, but but now they're like, man, I got to see what's what 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 what's over there. What what does Virgo find so interesting about me? I I can't help but be interested in everything you do. Cap, you you're it's like you're captivated by this person. This person is captivated captivated by you, by your stare, by your stance. They like you. Okay, it's like wow. Okay. At first, this person was hot, was hot and cold. Okay, back and forth. But you bring something. You bring out the animal. Their animal instincts. Okay. It's like, I'm, ooh. I, at first, I was dialing Virgo, but now, I think I think it's something there. I think that I I think I really like Virgo. Okay. It's like they're back and forth in their mind. And and yeah, it's this dude at work. He all he stares at me. At first, he was making me uncomfortable, but I'm a little intrigued now. I figure out figure out what this dude is all about. OK, so it's like they're, they're talking about you. And, and at first, this person, Virgo, was making me feel kind of feel some kind of way. Feeling like I should, you know, file a, a police report, <laughs> a stalker report. But now, damn, the way they look at me, I don't know. The Ace of Wands. Ooh. You definitely ring this person's chimes. You no, know, this person may think about you while they're in, while they're in their bedroom at night, you know, mm -hmm. you know. 
they're a jack of all trades. You know, you get what I'm saying. You know, while they, they while they while they are in their their bedrooms or in their their own home, maybe um, pleasuring themselves, they think about the Virgo. Mm -hmm. I got that burning that burning love for you. That burning that burning um, intimacy. That burning uh, that flesh that's that's on fire. The higher event. Oh, this could be a, this could be a good thing. This could be like a a, a, a connection that could could last a lifetime. It's two of Cups, love, love, love. Mm -hmm. Got the higher event. That's saying, oh yeah, that's my equal. That's 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 the one right there for me. All right. That that's that's you know. There's something about the two of you th that just works, okay? It, you can work with this person, live next door to this person, see this person at the library, see this person at the garage, see this person at the whatever, checkout counter, whatever, okay? See this person at a fruit stand, ice cream, whatever. Oh, I just saw the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. This could be a same-sex couple, but it does not have to be. This, could, this person could have two children. You could have two children. Uh, when you get into a connection with this person, you can bring your two families together. Okay, kind of like the Brady Bunch. But you don't have to have that many kids, but you get the juice. This person could wear a lot of jewelry. They could wear bracelets. Maybe you wear bracelets. There's something about the two of you that you have in common. Uh, something about an acorn tree. The Five of Pentacles. Person has been hurt a lot, you know, uh, defeated in love and romance, defeated in, in fearful of, of true love and marriage. Got the chariot moving on away from that energy, though. They've been in a relationship before that they thought would work out a, a marriage, a, a, um, a relationship, I'm hearing 10 year relationship. Um, but this could also mean that they're coming out of feeling alone, feeling abandoned, feeling by themselves. You could too also wear amethyst. I'm hearing, make sure you get some amethyst. Wear some amethyst, Virgo. I'm sorry, this that has a lot of a lot of um, sage and stuff on it. But yeah, wear some sage. Wear some sage. Oh my gosh, sage your areas. But wear some uh, amethyst, okay? Um, but also, I feel like somebody should stop smoking. I don't know if you, this person smokes cigars. Maybe you do. But finding love and holding on to that feeling, you know, if if this person, if you're a male, you possibly had a relationship to where you ended the connection with the mother and you find it difficult to spend time with your children, possibly because she won't let you or some different things like that. So uh, finding a relationship to where you can really trust somebody and moving on from that energy of feeling neglected, feeling like nobody cares about you and vice versa. We got the tower. This person's going to you're going to fall all over yourself with this person's energy. OK. I have the, the Knight of Cups opening up, being strong and in your feelings and in your emotions and saying, you know what? I got you and I got you too, boo. Okay. This, this person's going to shock you when it comes to love. They're going to show you really, really what love is all about. You're manifesting him or her. You're making better choices when it comes to love. All right. Hearing the music of your love, the music of the heart that you have inside of yourself and sharing it with that person that you love. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. This is the power of love, the power of, of three separate forces coming together. You got you, that person, and love from the Holy Spirit bringing you all together as one, working together as a beautiful couple. Mm -hmm. So this person was wishy washy at first. They're kind of, they were kind of like in doubt, doubting themselves. But now I feel like they're opening up to more, to you more, to coming around you more, maybe talking to you more and saying, you know what? I kind of, I think I, I think I like Virgo, you know, I don't know what they've done to me, but I'm really intrigued as to, as to where this is going to go. I often wonder if you feel the same way. See, they wonder about you too. All right. They wonder about you too. I recognize how special and unique you are. What are we waiting for? Let's do this. 
let's hook up. Let's go off on a date. You know, it may this it, this this may be the one for you. Okay, this may be the look. I'm unaware. I've been showing my lack of interest, but you've been ignoring all the signals. Okay, you know they were unaware at first. They were just looking like you, like damn, what the fuck, Virgo, looking at? That's that's strange. You know, if you really knew me, you would know that we're not right together. See, at first they were like, uh, uh, you know, but it's something that you showed them. Maybe that person really saw your spirit and saw your soul through the way you connected with them in in the eyes. You know, I'm hearing base chakra. I just heard Shazam. Okay. All of your wishes are coming true. I'm, I, I'm totally in love with you. I'm totally in love with you. You're making this person fall in love with you. But they were very insecure as well. Am I good enough for you? This could be you. I feel like the energy is hot and cold on and off. You know, it's like you either damned if you do, damned if you don't. You want me? Okay. If you don't, that's okay too. But I feel like you're definitely like-minded. It's like you all connect on on a, a deep level. I relate to you on so many different levels, you know. So this is that equal give and take. This is saying, you know what? I got you, boo, and you got me too, boo. Okay. It's like wow, I, I, you know, when you were looking at me, I thought, like I said, I had, thought I had to file a police report because you were just giving me some bad vibes. But the more and more I get to know you, the more and more I get to, I got to realize that wow, you hey, you you pretty doggone cool. I like you, Virgo. Okay. Okay, how does this person feel about you? Or what are their intentions, Virgo? Karma, balance, justice. This is a balanced connection. Finding what you really want in one another. We have some triggers and conflict. I feel like this person didn't feel connected to you at first. This person, you made this person uncomfortable. They made you uncomfortable. If they made you uncomfortable, that means you are... An interloper. Okay, you are uh, somebody who is not a Virgo, but you're watching this reading because it caught your attention. I feel like you were watching them, or they were watching you, and that kind of triggered them, made them feel, made you feel uncomfortable, or you made them feel uncomfortable. Like, what the hell are you looking at? I'm looking at you because your ass is fine. That's why. And we got rebirth. We got an opening of the heart chakra. Okay, a clearing of the past karmic karma or karmic karmic karmatic. What am What am I hearing? Karmatic relationships. I don't know why I'm hearing that word. Karmatic relationships I'm hearing from the past is triggering you, feeling uncomfortable, thinking about the conflicts of the past, and you're like, I don't want a relationship, but look what happened. So you're confused as F. Taking off those rose-colored glasses, not letting that past confuse you when it, when it feels good, when it feels right, nine times out of ten it is. But you know when something is good for you, when it's not. You've learned so much on this journey of love, this journey of life, okay? This journey of heartache and strife is what I heard. Maybe you're a poet and you didn't know it. Present, they're in your present. Having gratitude, being thankful, okay, for love, being thankful for the ability to love someone else other than your, someone other than yourself. And we have feminine, yeah. You know, it's tapping into that energy and saying, you know what? This person was closed off at first. They were guarded. <laughs> they didn't know what to think. You were watching this person, okay, with those pretty eyes, those sexy eyes. Like, damn, what the fuck are you looking at? But then they realized, oh, so some pretty eyes. You know, they were guarded. They resisted this. They resisted that. That I don't think that you were in temptation or tempted, but I feel like now they're tempted. Like, Oh, I have to have a smoke because I, I don't know why I'm thinking about Virgo. I don't know why I'm thinking about those eyes. It's something about those eyes. It's like you search their soul. Okay. It's something about the way you look at this person, you know, and they, they see you for who you truly are. They see your soul when you're looking at when, when they're looking at you. Okay. I have a comfort. It's something about a comfort here for you, you know, and what you're giving this person is something they haven't had before or in a long, long time. It's something about you that makes them feel com comforted. It's the way you look at them, the way you move, the way you, the, the essence of who you truly are. They sense that beautiful energy about you, okay? That's why they change their mind. It's like they did a, a, a 380, a 180 or whatever. Yeah, it's fate. Fate. You know, this person has practiced self-love. You've practiced self-love. It's like, this is a faded connection, a faded um soulmate 
connection, a, a fiery, passionate connection here. You already have practiced that self-love you have and they have. So you are creating something beautiful. OK, where well, this connection is going to is going to produce a beautiful connection when you're brought together. Being you remember what I said earlier is you is them. And that's the love from the Holy Spirit coming down to, to create one beautiful love. That's you. That's what you want. That's what you, that's what your ass is going to get. Letting go of this past. You're suffering from relationships to where you've been rejected from, you know, fragmented, feeling lost and suffering from past heartache and pain you don't have to go through that anymore this person is not going to take you through what um your exes did you're not going to take them through what their exes did you all found something when you found each other okay i'm hearing i found a love <laughs> by johnny tell you i put that in the comments i found a love they found a love in you and you found a love in them but this past our uh, connection unrequited love there was, wasn't enough ke uh, chemistry and attraction to keep this relationship moving forward. Let it go. And you probably got hooked up by a friend or a family member. It didn't work out. So you possibly, <laughs> I don't know if you got pissed off that, that they introduced you to that person, but it's not their fault, okay, that it didn't work out. It, maybe it just wasn't meant to be, you know. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. You got to let that past go and open yourself up to love. The final messages here. Free yourself. It's time to, to control your get it's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, forgiving and learning. You know, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Let that person go. Forgive them. If you don't, you don't have to say, I forgive you to their face. Just say it in spirit and let it go. Let the past go. Look, your new connection. This person may be totally different, and you're totally different than what they expect in their love life. OK, that's what makes it so beautiful. That's what makes it so unique. This situation involves marriage. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. I didn't expect to feel this way about Virgo. Virgo freaked me the fuck out when I first started, when I first noticed him noticing me, looking at me with that with that eye, <laughs> you know, like, damn, what the hell? But then I realized, like, oh, it's something special there. Mm -hmm. It's something special. It's something special about us. It's something special about this connection. So this person is very, very, very much so turned on by you. It, it's, it's you that made this person fall for you because of your eyes, the way you look at them, the way you move around them, the way you sashay around them. It's like there's something about you, how you carry yourself that made this person feel your truest energy. Okay, And you can't lie about the energy. One more card for your overall reading, how this person feels about you. Here we go. How does this person feel about you? I am open to exploring things with you, but I can't make any promises. And my alone time is precious to me. And I honestly prefer my own company. So they're wanting to explore things with you, but they can't make any promises. They are set in their own ways. They've been alone for a long, long time. Maybe you have to, if you're a cross watcher, you've been alone for such a long time. All right. So they can't make any promises. You can't make any promises to them, but let's explore this connection because I'm, I'm digging you. I'm so digging you, Virgo. I think that you are so sexy. Thank you for recognizing me. Now I'm thankful for recognizing you. Okay. I hope this res resonates. Talk to y'all later. And I'm still open for personal readings, just so you all know. Talk to you later.